Hey everyone, welcome here. My name is Tracy. This is Move Daily Fitness, and on this channel, we're all about doing fitness, wellness, and nutrition in sustainable ways for the long haul, so consider subscribing. Okay, today's workout is another metabolic workout. Okay, this is an interesting format. It keeps the body guessing, so here it is. The first segment, you have four different exercises. Okay, each one is going to be done for six reps only. So that's really low rep range. I want you to lift as heavy as possible. Anyway, we're going to do that for six rounds. So six times six. Then we'll switch to a different format where we have 30 seconds of work with only 10 seconds in between. Again, four different exercises. You repeat it only twice. Then we'll go back to the six times six and then finish off with the 30 second circuit again. Okay, so you'll require a variety of dumbbells. Make sure that you have, again, as heavy as possible. The metabolic training is the premise that you push until you can't, rest until you can. Okay, so I know that you're gonna be sort of following along with me. So you can do one of two things. You can either pause the video if I get too ahead of you or too behind, or you can just switch when I switch. All right, I'm gonna lead you on a quick warm up. I will end you with a cool down and we've got this full metabolic workout coming up right now. All right, let's start with the warm up. Feet are shoulder width apart. Go ahead and squat. Give me a big stretch overhead here. All right, hey, if you are already warmed and ready to go, go ahead and jump to the number at the bottom of the screen. You can get started on our first six by six challenge. Otherwise, swing those arms, baby. Last one here. Good, take it wide. All right, let's open up through the chest here a little bit, plie squat. And get all of those joints and ligaments warmed up, ready to go. It's again a little later in the day that I'm getting to this workout. So forgive the lighting. Our sun is not, it's not, it's for, it's not for us, it's against us right now. Okay, come into a lunge position, drop that back knee here. I mean, where is it? Where are you, son? I like it when you're here, but it's so low. And we have mountains behind us, so it kind of, Hide behind the mountains and makes our house really dark all winter long, apparently. All right, switch sides and drop. It's been a very, very mild winter so far here in Kelowna. I live in British Columbia, Canada, if you didn't know that. And uh, I've been kind of grateful for it because it means no snow on the road. So let's go back to feet shoulder width apart. Reach your arms up, stretch there. And it's been a little safer for my daughter, who's 16 and learning to drive. Now, does every 16 year old think they know everything about driving? Mine does. <laughs> In fact, the other day, take it wide, she's like, it had just snowed for the first time. It wasn't sticking, but it was below zero, so it was frozen a little bit. And I'm cautioning her, I'm like, slow down. You can't go the same speed, you have to slow like at least 30 meters before you normally do. Okay, so we'll lunge right here and drop the back knee. Anyway, she didn't really listen. And we came around the corner and, and the back of the car slid. And that scared her a little bit because <laughs> the next two corners she was so slow and cautious. Yeah, that's right, girl. It's slippery. Mama knows something. You should listen. <laughs> Anyway, it's nice because that stresses me out driving in the winter weather. So if I don't have to do a lot, I'm grateful. One more round here, feet shoulder width apart. Low reach up. As soon as this one's done, we are getting going. So you're gonna grab your heavy weights. Make sure that they're handy. And a chair or a bench or couch, because you're gonna do, um, I think we have some sit stuff. But anyway. Okay, nice and wide, right here, and open. Yeah, I have up to 25 pounds here. So because I'm only doing a six rep range, I wanna lift as heavy as I can for that in order to get the maximum benefit. All right, drop here. Get that back knee almost to the ground here. All right, that's 10, switch sides, and drop. Push through that front heel. Oh, 
All right, three more. Two and one. All right, grab those weights. I've got my pens handy because I'm gonna count our six rounds using pens to make sure we stay on track and we're getting started. Here are the first four exercises. Okay, you're starting with that lateral lunge to lateral raise. This is the only one in this circuit here. We'll do six per side. Everything else will be six in total, okay? So whatever you can lateral raise, that's what's gonna be in your hand. You're lunging low to the ground. Pop it up for a lateral raise. Ready? Six each side, here we go. Low and pop. I got my 15 here. So, I mean it's, it's not, not a challenge at the beginning here. One more this side. All right, switch sides. Lunge that way, low. But it's only six, I can manage. Last one, going into that reverse lunge at bicep. Six in total, alternating, here we go. I've got my 15s again. Nice and tall. Here's six. There we go. Moving to a squat thrust. Single side thrust. Three per side or six in total. Here we go. Six renegade rows. I'm gonna switch to my 20s on this. Again, it's only six in total. Get down, plank position. Row to the hip. And six. All right, repeat. Let's go back to that lateral lunge. Here we go, low. Your six here, boom. Good, switching sides, low. And six, okay, reverse lunge bicep. Nice and tall, here we go. Alternating for six. Squat thrust, three side, six in total, single side, here we go. And six, renegade row plank. Okay, got my 20s, plank position, roll for six. Four to go. That's good, eh? Feeling it already. Lateral lunge. Ready? Let's go. Got my 15 still. Two. All right, switch sides. Lunge. Low, reach your hip back. Five, one more, boom, good. Bicep curls, reverse lunge, ready, go. Wow, so gets your heart rate up so fast, doesn't it? There's six, squat thrusts. Ready? 
go and drive. Two more. Yes. Woo! Renegade row. Coming into plank. I got my 20s. Here we go. Remember, you need a break. Pause the video. It's rest based training. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay? Reverse, side lunge, lateral. Let's go. Oh, wait. Sorry. That was three. Ready? Here we go. One more here. 15 heavy on that. What was that? Last one here. I think I'm gonna try my 20s on the reverse lunge. Add bicep. It's only six. Ready. Here we go. Last one here. Oh, that's hard. I'm gonna go back to the 15s for my squat thrust. Ready? Here we go. Low, single side. Last one. Boom. Renegade row. Plank. Go my 20s. Plank position, go. Good, all right. Woo, now I'm four done. Okay, how you guys doing? Good, eh? Not bad. What's wrong with this workout? Okay, go. One, lateral lunge. We only have two more rounds. Ready, let's go. I'm gonna push hard, try and get these done. Then I'll take a break. Two more here. Yes, switch sides, low. Really think of that side shoulder cap coming up to a full 90 degrees. Two more. one here. Whew. Get back to my 15 to think for the reverse lunge. Ready? Start. Keep it tight. Two more. Squat thrust. Here we go. Renegade row. Woo. Plank. Start. And six. Okay. Last one, guys. Move that pen over. Ready? I need water. Lateral lunge. And go, low, one. Yes, switch sides, go. Pop it up, stand tall here, tummy tight. Five, six, Think back to my 20s for that reverse lunge. Ready? Start. Who's with me? 
You guys sticking with me? Heavy. Push. One more here. Oh, good. Okay. Squat thrust. Single side. Ready? Let's do it. Hit low. Two more. Yes. All right. Last round, game bro. Get a little break. Then moving on to a 30 second circuit. Go. Five and uh, yeah. Okay. I'll be putting a tank to move on. And we're back for our 30 second circuit. Here are your next four exercises in your 30 second circuit. This one's gonna move fast, only 10 seconds between. I've got my eights, starting with a squat, front raise as you descend. Ready, let's go. Tight tummy here, reach those hips back. Yeah, eight pounds per side here. Or you could use a 15 pound kettlebell, kettlebell or ball, if you have it. 10 seconds. That's a shoulder burner. Oh my goodness. Last one here. Boom. Okay, I'm grabbing lighter weights, my fives. Lateral lunge, lateral raise, side lunge, front raise. Here we go. Lateral, switch, front, same side. Lateral, I'll call halfway. All right, switch legs on the fly. Oh, let's work in that front. Have good form. Last one here. Woo! All right, good. Moving into that same side Russian twist. Leg in a V-sit here. Let's drop it down there. Here we go. I'll call halfway. Bottom burpee bicep curl coming up. All right, switch legs. Drop the other side. Try to keep those legs straight. Ooh, I know it's hard. I got a hair in my mouth. <laughs> Question, is it dog hair or my hair? Ugh. Good. Okay, I'm using my eights in this bottom burpee. Burpee down, stay low, bicep curl. Here we go. Wide curl. Keep your bum low. Don't come up, but keep a flat back. Ten seconds. All right, time. Going into that squat front raise. I'm gonna shake it out for a second. Going in four, three. I've got my eights. Here we go. Boom. As you descend, the weight comes up to ninety degrees. That's work, isn't it? Halfway. Oh gosh. I made my clients do this for 45 seconds this morning. I'm doing it for 30. And it's hard. That was mean. Okay. Lateral lunge, lateral raise, lateral lunge, front. Get ready. Reverse lunge, lateral. Let's go. Boom. Same side. Here, front, together. Switch 
Switch legs right here. Go. Reverse. Lateral. That's hard. Last one here. Mama. Get down on the ground. Russian twist straight legs. Or a V-sit with a leg drop. Here we go. Thinking obliques here, crunching down. Switch legs low. A lot of hip flexor here. Bottom burpee next. And last. Woo! This is good. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna use my eights in my bottom burpee. Bottom burpee, low bicep curl. Ready? Go. Jump wide, drop your glutes. exercises in your six by six circuit. <clears throat> Let's start with that front squat. I'm grabbing my 20s for it. All right, six of everything. Be shoulder width apart, drop it low, push through the heel. Six here. Two more. Ooh, it's heavy. And six. Okay, moving into that wide bent over row. I'm gonna hold my 20s. Hinge at the waist. Elbows come wide to 90 degrees. Six here. And six. Ooh, it's heavy. All right, moving down into my push-up bird dog combo. Push-up, opposite hand, opposite foot, reach up. This can be done from the knees if you need. Here we go. One. Six. Woo! Okay, last one here, that deadlift. Upright roll, front raise combo. I'm grabbing my eights for this. Feet shoulder width apart. I hinge, stand, upright, turn, front. That's one. Let's go. Hinge, upright, front, two. Boom. Up, three. It's whatever you can front raise here. That's the weakest muscle. Two more. Last one. Going back to that front squat. All right, that's one down. Five to go. Your shoulder width apart. Hit it. One more. Bent over row. I'll wait for a second if you have to switch weights. Hinge at the waist. Wide row. Here we go. One more. Good, push up, bird dog combo. You're down. Go. Last one. Woo. All right, deadlift. 
upright roll, front raise. Shoulders back, knees soft. Hinge and row, front one. Good. Hard. Last one here. Good. Two down. Keep going. Front squats. My hair is in my face like crazy. Ready? Go. This is the hardest for me of this. All this. All of these. Two more. Bend over row. All right, same weights here. Hinge. One. Six. So that's a good weight for me. 20 is hard. But I can do six. I gotta keep it there. I gotta keep it challenging. That's how you progressively overload. Here we go. until you can't, you'll rest until you can. If you're stronger, you can go harder faster, and that's what you do. And then when you get this on your own, you need to lift heavier, right? Take less breaks. The whole workout's written down below though, right? So you can do this again. I've lost count. I wanna say this is six, is it? You guys, let's do one more for good measure, okay? Can't remember. Boom. All right, four rounds down, two to go. How are you doing? A little back dysplasia, a little bit from that mental row, slight amount. Not horrible, but I feel it there. I always say I have back dysplasia. <laughs> and hip dysplasia, I call it that. It's not, it's not a thing. But when you say it to people, they're like, oh my gosh, sorry for you. Go, one, two. Knees to elbows, come on. Four, minor touching, come on. Five, last one here. Six, good, bent over row. Hinge, 
And one, two, three, four, five, six, push ups. We go work upright front. Three, boom. Four. Last one here. Feeling it? Okay, let's move, right? Let's start. I'm not gonna rest between if I don't have to. I want you to do the same. Grab your 20s. Heavy, heavy. Squats. Ready? Go. One more. And over row. Hinge. Push up. Two more. Okay. Go, go, go. Deadlift. Upright row. Front combo. Do it. Hinge, butt out, chest out. Up. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Move, move, and boom. Yes. Last 30 second circuit coming up. Let's finish this off with a bang. Here's those last four exercises. You have 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds to transition. All right, you're starting with the dumbbell pass. Hinge at the waist, I've got my 15. I'm gonna pass side lunge, switch hands as I alternate the side lunge. Let's do it here, here. Stay hinged at the waist, super flat back here. You should feel this in your glutes. Little leg, inner thigh, little back, and a lot of core actually. Oh, 10 seconds is hard. Harder than I thought it'd be. Plank, front press is next. I'm grabbing my lightest weight. Okay, five here. Plank position, neutral. Grip, you're pushing straight in front. Ready, I'll pull half. Push. Wow, that's hard. Couple more seconds here. One more this side. Move quickly and switch. Go, neutral. You don't have light enough weight, just do your arm action. Holy, I like it. Oh, thank God, that's only 30 seconds. All right, I'm grabbing my 20. Squat, alternating front lunge. Ready? Squat first, drop low, and alternate. Low, switch, drop. I'm dropping that back knee right to the carpet. Ski 
Fears are next. So grabbing my 15s, whipping those hips back, popping them up like a kettlebell swing. Ooh, burning quad syndrome. That's like my hip dysplasia. <laughs> burning quad syndrome and hip dysplasia all at once. Okay, grab the 15s, feet shoulder width apart, a little narrower, hips back. Here we go. Pop to 90. Boom, boom. Nice neutral neck, looking at the ground. Hips go back. So it's not a squat, I'm hinging. Don't let go of your dumbbells. Last one. Oh, brutal. All right, one more round. And you're done. Dumbbell pass, hinge at the waist. Here we go. Rock it. Nice low lunge, come on. Straight that side leg. That's it. Breathless, breathless in Seattle. Whew, 10 seconds. Plank is next in three, two, time. Oh, Nelly. Okay. Grab your weight if you're using one. Ready. Go. All right, switch sides quick. Let's go. So that feels weaker. Holy. Oh, yikes, that is a work. I thought of that exercise. All right, squat front lunge. Grab your 20. Do it. Wide squat, so you can get as low as you can. Woo! I definitely want to know what you thought of this workout in the comments below, you guys. Okay? As soon as you're done, message me below. Let me know how you did, what you thought, what you loved, what you didn't. Here we go. Last one. Low hips. I would say that front squat and that plank were the hardest for me. I don't like this one too much. I like the kettlebell better. My hair smells good though. <laughs> Just had it done yesterday. Ah, holy cow! You guys, you move daily. You. Okay, quick stretch here. Let's go ahead and put one heel back. I want you to push your heel into the ground. Lean forward, stretch a little bit of that glute, a lot of that calf. Hands behind your back, stretch your chest. Whew, that was good. I think, I think it was 10, 20, 34, maybe 40 minutes, maybe 37. I don't know, I'll have to check once I edit this all. You'll see it already, but switch sides. The fact that you can get that like boom intense workout in that short period of time and uh, really utilize a lot of energy that is that's great to know because did you switch legs switch legs lean forward here's the thing about weight loss fat loss at the end of the day you require a caloric deficit there needs to be a difference in energy balance you've got to Burn more than you consume in order for weight loss or fat loss to occur. Bring your arm up, stretch. So, if you do like a workout like this where you're building muscle, making the body more metabolic, okay, and burning more calories through more muscle, 
plus the high intensity where you kind of go into a little oxygen debt at times, which means the body has to repair longer, ergo using more energy. It helps because think about how many calories that you burn in total for a 40 minute workout. You probably burn at least, come up for a quad stretch, at least 400 calories doing the workout. They say 10 calories burned for every 10 minutes of intense work. It's different for everybody because everyone's intensity is different, right? And every Fitbit is kind of different. But anyway, on an average, that's what you would get. So let's say this was 40 minutes, 400 calories burned, switch legs, plus another couple hundred for sure in recovery post, post workout, okay? My muscles have to recover because we lifted heavy in that six by six circuit. My heart has recovered because we moved quickly in the 30 second circuit. See all the benefits we're getting? It's fantastic, really. Anyway, that's why one of these workouts, a style like this, is incredibly beneficial for muscle building, fat burning, bring the arm across. That's why I love it. Metabolic workouts, mm, feels good, and uh, yeah, you get a good sweat, and feel like you got a great workout, which you did in a shorter period of time, bring the arm across. Yeah, so it's just about working at that high, high intensity. You gotta push until you can't, rest until you can. So again, it's gonna be different for you. But if you weren't able to keep pace with me, um, who was it? I think it was Lauren A. A girl named Lauren A., one of our subscribers, said that she, um, arms back, thumbs down. She came back to our last metabolic smash and redid it because she's like, oh, I sucked weight in this one. I was way behind you. Normally I keep pace, but I wasn't. Then she tried it again about three or four weeks later, and she's like, whoa, I smashed it. Well, now there's lots of variables that could happen here. Round through the back. You could have had a crappy sleep the day that you didn't do good. You could have had poor nutrition the night before. Like, there's a lot of variables that way. But it is nice to challenge yourself because, generally speaking, you can lift more and go faster than you think you can, right? All right. Well, that was a great workout. Thanks for joining me. I'm nicely sweaty, and now I have to go shower because I'm going to a holiday party tonight. Um, which I'm very excited about. It's bring a gift, gift exchange with some ladies. So I bought some really fun earrings and a really nice ornament for the tree. That's what I'm giving. So we'll see what I get. Hopefully it's wine. <laughs> Just kidding. Or am I? All right, as always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, nutrition. I'm gonna see you in the next video.